Greetings, my lord, or my lady. We are going to the secret Templar stronghold to kick some Templar butt. I have heard that the Grand Maester himself is in Westmarch. It is imperative that I find and speak to him. I will tell him of the sins his order is committing. If he's the leader of the order, he probably knows. No, you are wrong. My first memories of being a Templar are of him comforting me, welcoming me to the Brotherhood. I looked into his eyes. He is a good man, I tell you. The Templar is such a bad judge of character. I don't think he knows what he's saying most of the time. Today is the day I find out how deep the Order's corruption runs. It's settled then. Go and confront your brothers in arms. I will do it, even if it means going against my entire Order. I could use a good friend by my side. How about two? But at the very least, he's pretty open-minded. This is one of our strongholds. I will have my answers soon. I just hope you're ready for them. Cormac! Everyone says you helped slay Asmodan and Belial. They're calling you the greatest of all the Templar. It's good to see you as well, brother. But I come with troubling news about the Order. I must speak with the Grand Maester. You're in luck. He's here. Standing orders are to send you to him upon your return. Take this, the Grand Maester's new proclamation. You've done us all proud. This proclamation from the Maester, it's damning. He admits his own guilt. How could I have not seen this? Oh, Cormac, you're blinded by your own senses and your incredible We will rise faith. from the ashes of Westmarch and lead mankind into the light. We shall have recruits by the thousands. Every citizen will be another Templar added to the cause. Once cleansed by the Inquisitors, they will become an unstoppable force. Well, ever since we found out that the recruits get beaten up until they forget everything, kind of gives us a hint that this Our order is really corrupt. Come, and we owe it all to you. Bring me that whip. It is time to purify this initiate. Stop! How can you do this to your fellow Templar? We bless them with the truth, as we did for you, Cormac. But if the greatest of all Templar wishes them freed, it shall be so. That's just bullshit. We've been ordered to take you to the Grand Maester as soon as possible. Follow me. Cormac. The shining example of a true Templar. We have much to talk about. Well, there's a lot to talk about. There's also some stuff lying around the room that I... I don't know, I just want to push. Yes, we do, Grand Maester. You have betrayed us all, starting with the torment of our initiation. It was brutal, but necessary. I did the hard things no one else would for the ascension of humanity. I carry the weight of my actions with me always. Are you ready to make a similar sacrifice, Cormac? Will you stand with me and become Meister in due time? I need you. But... I... No! Your power has driven you to madness if you think I would help you rule over mankind! This saddens me greatly, my son. I am sorry. Kill him. Hey! I'm the only one who is Cormac around here! Well, it's just predictable that they're gonna do this to us sooner than later. If it's a dungeon, we're gonna have to fight our way through it. But it's, it's still kind of sad that Cormac had to put up with this bullshit for the entire time that he was a Templar. They do see him as a, uh, as a hero now, but that's just the, the other guy. The High Inquisitor, the Maester, the Grand Maester. 
I don't think he really values Cormac that much. He's still just a pawn that they wanted to convert to their pawn. Which is sadly how most of society works, especially here in my country. It sucks that everything's done really corrupt and shit. So. Man is a flawed being. Time and again, we have seen good men give in to temptation. Right. Though it is painful, I have Indeed. found only one answer. We must cleanse the minds of our recruits, so they will never fall prey to the corruption of the demons, or the blind self-righteousness self of the angels. God, I hate these kinds of people. Creatures and stuff. They, they talk to you about how they're really really good and how they want to help you out but all they wanted to do is further their own agenda in the grand nature's case he wants to ruin the world through fate which is kind of like a cheat code i mean it's pretty not easy but simple to rally people to your side using religion not like it's not happening right to know now in our world who was that? You remember the barmaid with the chicken feathers? Oh, how they tickled. Somehow I regret bringing Lyndon here. He's useless in combat, and I think there's better interactions between Irena and the Templar. Obviously, they kind of like each other. So, yeah. would be pretty useful in here right now. Because quite honestly, I don't even know if Linden is even helping me out. His damage sucks, the items I have on him suck. Oh god. I'm taking fire. Huge fire. I gotta run. Run, 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 Sorry about that. I was a bad player and I apologize. I should do better next time. Besides, it's just in master mode, I think. Or maybe torment. No, it's just master. I shouldn't be dying a lot here. I shouldn't be dying at all. And these are just regular mobs. But I guess they're Templar, so they have to be stronger than normal demons. Because that's their job, to kill demons. If Cormac was really lucky he got captured by the cultists back in Act 1, otherwise we wouldn't have met him. And to be honest, he's the only follower that I really cared about. Because Lyndon is fun to be with and he's quick, he runs around and he can debuff a lot of stuff, but he's not a very good tank. I dedicated my life to a lie. Everything I thought I knew, it was all in the service of a madman. I swear that every Templar I meet will be freed from the lies of the Order. And if they refuse, I will be forced to convince them. I can help with that. I'm terribly convincing. I wonder how he plans to convince them. The Grand Maester, behind the Order's corruption. Deep down, I think I always knew. Perhaps that's why I never felt worthy of the Order. As if I was not a true Templar. I imagine that's how they kept you from asking questions. A vile tactic. But now, you are free to leave the Order behind. What shall you do? I believe in you, and your quest. This world must be saved. Regardless of the corruption of the Templar. Well, at the very least, Cormac hasn't lost his faith entirely. He just lost his faith in the Templar Order, in the corrupted Templar Order, but he never really lost faith in the sense that he still believes that what he's doing is the right thing. 
Now, while I always love Cormac more than the scoundrel and the enchantress, make sure you also watch their videos. They have pretty interesting storylines, especially the enchantress. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!